Here's how you embed Apex into High Level. So first you're gonna go to your High Level dashboard for your agency, and you're gonna go to Settings. From there, you're gonna go to Custom Menu Link. Then you're gonna click this green Create New button, and you'll be given these options here. You can go ahead and give an icon. Since we're primarily doing Facebook ads, you might wanna do like the Facebook logo. Give it a link name. We usually do manage ads, but you can call it whatever you want. And then you're going to get your link URL. You'll get this link URL from uh, Apex support, or uh, in the future, you'll be able to get it just right there on your agency dashboard. If you're having any trouble with that, again, just reach out to Apex support. We'll be able to give you your URL. Once you get your URL, you're going to go ahead and paste that URL exactly as you have it uh, given to you either on your dashboard or by support. It's very important that the location ID component of the URL stays exactly the same. You don't change that location ID uh, component. Just leave that exactly as is. Then you'll go ahead and show where you want to put the, uh, the, the custom menu link on your high level dashboard. You could do it on the agency side, the account side. And then if you do it on the account side, you can do it show to all accounts or you can select specific ones. We also recommend that you open an iframe inside the platform. That's what this was designed for is for in platform iframe and then go ahead and click save. And then that'll show on your high level dashboard to all of your clients. Keep in mind that as soon as that shows up, it's going to show for all of your clients immediately. Okay. So if you aren't ready to actually launch this to your clients, you can go ahead and put the link in there, but maybe turn off show link on account sidebar um, or turn off show to all accounts. Maybe just select your demo account that you're kind of testing with first and then show it to everybody once you're actually ready to go. Once it's actually in there, you'll be able to see exactly how it's going to look um, on your sidebar, whether you're using the old sidebar or the new sidebar. It'll show up inside um, similar to this. So for brand new users, it'll actually prompt them. Um, so this is their first time ever clicking manage ads, uh, which most of your users, that'll be the case. Uh, It'll prompt them to connect their Facebook account. So you'll, they'll just click that, grant access, and that'll give you access to their ad account inside of Apex as well. So they'll it'll all be connected together. So if you want to launch campaigns for them manually, you'll be able to do that in the Apex bat dashboard. You'll also be able to monitor all of your clients and their campaign performance inside the Apex dashboard. So you don't have to fumble around with getting Facebook access anymore. Uh, once they connect, then they'll be able to see any ads that they're currently running. They'll be able to launch new campaigns with all the categories that you've enabled. Um, and then they'll also be able to manage things such as uh, their Facebook page that they want to use, their ad account that they want to use, etc. This is taking a little bit to load on my end because this one, this particular account literally has every account we've ever managed inside of it. So we're not going to, uh, <laughs> we're not going to open that one up just because, you know, we want to protect our clients' privacy there. So that is how you connect high level into or uh, Apex into high level. Super, super easy. Just paste that, uh, that URL into uh, the custom uh, URLs for high level and you are off to the races. Like I said, just make sure that you uh, hide it until you're actually ready for it to go live because the moment you put it out to all your clients, they will be prompted to connect their Facebook ad account. So if you're ready for that, go for it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to Apex Support.